Erythropoiesis is the process of producing red blood cells that takes place at the central part of the bone, known as what a red bone marrow. Uh, red blood cells are very crucial in transporting of respiratory gases, mostly oxygen and carbon dioxide, reversibly between the lungs and the, our body tissues, between the lungs of our body tissue or human beings, as well as vertebrates, as well as what vertebrates. So, this is important of red blood cell, the product of red blood cell or uh, erythrocytes. So, the whole process of erythro, erythropoiesis, the whole process of erythropoiesis actually is detected within our body, is detected within our body when there is low concentration, when there is what low concentration of oxygen that is directed towards the kidney, when there is low concentration or when there is what decreased the blood oxygen the condition known as what hypo hypoxia, the condition known as what hypoxia. So once the concentration of oxygen is decreased within the kidney, within the kidney, the kidney is going to detect this low concentration of oxygen, especially at this portion of nephron, between the margin of Bowman's capsule and the distal completed tube or D DCT. Here in between, as you can see here, there is a juxtagomerulus apparatus or juxtagomerulus complex which composes of what varieties of cells, this kind of cells, which are playing what a major role of producing a certain kind of protein which will trigger uh, the whole process that is going to maximize uh, production of red blood cells because the red blood cells are very crucial in transporting of oxygen from the lungs to the body tissues. So, why the kidney is among of the of some of the organs within our body that require high amount of oxygen. Kidney requires high amount of oxygen as well as the liver and the heart because within the kidney there is a lot of metabolic processes which undergo aerobic respiration. So oxygen is highly required within the kidney. Oxygen is highly required within the kidney. That's one. Any tendency of decreasing in oxygen is going to be detected here at the kidney. It's going to be detected here at the kidney. So, which are the conditions? Which are the conditions that might result into decreasing in oxygen? Or which are the conditions within our bodies, or most of board of uh, vertebrates, that might result into hypoxia? Main condition is what we call it what is hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia. This hemolytic anemia actually occurs in red blood cells, especially if there is what a deficiency of a certain kind of enzyme known as pyruvate kinase. So pyruvate kinase deficiency result into energy deficiency in the red blood cell. Pyruvate kinase deficiency result into energy deficiency in erythro erythrocytes. So, so once there is a low concentration of oxygen at, at this point, at this point known as a juxtagomerulus apparatus or juxtagomerulus complex that is situated between a Bowman's capsule and the distal completed the tubes, the cell here in between, we have different types of cells here. We have macular denser cells, we have what the cold sense cells or lattice the cells at this point, but this time around, and, and in this case, uh, for, 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 in case of out of this case, uh, in case of, of, of this what problem of what decreasing oxygen or the condition of hypoxia, juxtaglomerulus apparatus or juxtaglomerulus cells is going to secrete what so called erythrogenin. Erythrogenin is going to be secreted. This erythrogenin will act on plasma protein known as erythro erythropoietinogen. Erythropoietinogen eventually is going to be converted into erythropoietin. So from there, erythropoietin, after being all produced here, it will be transported via general circulation or through blood circulation up to the central portion of the bone, to the central portion of the bone, known as what red bone marrow. At the central portion of the bone is where now this process of what 
erythropoiesis, or the process of body manufacturing, or the process of manufacturing or producing what red blood cells is going to take place. So this portion of the central portion of the bone, it composes of certain kind of cells known as stem cells. So stem cells is going to, first of all, to be transformed into what's so called what is proerythroblast, proerythroblast, then proerythroblast, which is in large in terms of size, it's very large in terms of size, one pro erythroblast is going to produce approximately 16 erythrocytes or 16 what, red blood cells. So this is large in terms of size because this possesses nuclei. This possesses nuclei. So at the early stage of formation of erythrocytes, nuclear is present. Nuclear is present, but we know that the mature red blood cell or erythrocytes has no nuclear, has no nuclear to make sure that the surface area for care mostly uh, these polypet four polypeptide chains, which each one is what is associated with what high high with reduced iron, which is very important in transporting what oxygen or for care, for carrying what oxygen from the lungs to the respiring tissues from different parts of our body. So at this stage of proerythroblast to L erythroblast, then what intermediate erythroblast and the late erythroblast, at these early stages, nuclear is present. And I, as I would say just what I previous, the size of proerythroblast is larger than the rest. Stage by stage, the size is going to be uh, reduced from this stage to L erythrocytes. At L erythrocytes, at L erythroblast, at L erythroblast, actually, the number of ribosomes is going to be increased. The number of ribosomes is going to be increased because there is what the maximum protein synthesis, maximum rate of what protein synthesis at this stage. Why maximum rate of protein synthesis? Because large amount or large amount of what of protein, large amount of amino acids are going to be joined to form four polypeptide chains. So each polypeptide chain also is going to associate with the high. That's why the whole process, the whole process of transforming to erythroblast, to erythroblast, then intermediate erythroblast, then to red erythroblast, we need mostly vitamin B6 and then vitamin B12, as well as what the folate or folate or folic acids, because these folic acids and the folates are very important to our are very crucial in the formation of DNA at these early stages. DNA for what purpose? DNA because in the first stage, DNA play a great role at the first stage of protein synthesis because DNA is one that is going to promote transcription processes, trans L transcription processes, and later on, why we increase the number of ribosomes? Because after folate participating in participating in increasing what the uh, amount of DNA within varieties of proerythroblast and L erythroblast, proerythroblast and L erythroblast, as well as intermediate erythroblast, ribosomes play part as a site for what trans a translation of the genetic codes which have been what coded by this DNA. So as time goes on, as I've said well, just previous, the sizes of these sort of cells will be what decreasing. So from L, from L what erythroblast, then this L erythroblast will be transformed into intermediate erythroblast. Then from intermediate erythroblast, then this will be transformed again into what it, late erythroblast. Late what erythroblast, then from late what erythroblast, then this late erythroblast will be what it, transformed into reticulocytes. So then from reticulocytes, the nucleus which was present at the prenatal stage will be what is extruded out, out, will be what is expelled out. Then after being what expelled out, macrophage type of white blood cell will engulf. Macrophage type of white blood cell will engulf that nuclear. Then from that state, then we are going to obtain mature red blood cell or mature erythrocytes. Then the mature red Erythrocyte or mature red blood cells varies most depending on the sex. Depending on the sex, mostly male, they possess large 
amount or high concentration of red blood cell or high concentration of erythrocytes. Why they could they possess high concentration of red blood cell or erythrocytes? Because men they have certain kind of hormone known as androgen. This androgen is produced from what adrenal cortex, the outermost part of what of adrenal gland known as adrenal cortex. Now this adrenal cortex produces large amount of androgens in male compared to the female. A female they have what a few androgens. They have what few androgens. That's why they have what a low concentration of what of erythrocytes. They have what a low concentration concentration of what of erythrocytes. Even during gestation period, even during gestation period, females tends to suffer tend to suffer all oh, the, the concentration of what red blood cells or concentration of red blood cells as well as volume of blood used to decrease during the gestation period not only that another indication which show that male they possess high concentration of erythrocytes is that in case of lifespan or what erythrocytes in case of what lifespan of erythrocytes male a lifespan of erythrocytes in male is approximately 120 days while the female is 110 days this shows how androgen which is concentrated in male play a great role in the process of in the process of erythro erythropoiesis in the process of what erythropoiesis then from there it means that the number of red blood cells from what red bone marrow at the central part of what of the bone then you will be increased then after increasing the number of red blood cell then red blood cell will be what transported to the towards the last what uh, towards the pulmonary circulation where a majority or high concentration of blood will be what supplied towards what uh, the lungs to pick up oxygen then after picking up of oxygen then the level of oxygen will be increased again the, the level of oxygen that is going to be supplied to the kidney is going to be increased after being what increased the, the kidney will release less or will decrease the formal process here yeah, the formal process where um, where erythro chaining will be decreased and then the process of what is activating plasma protein which is what erythropoietinogen will be decreased as we increase what as we are going to, to decrease erythropoietinogen then eventually erythropoietin will be what is decreased therefore this is certain kind of what negative feedback mechanism that controls Production of erythrocytes within our bodies. Production of erythrocytes within our bodies. As I've said here, in the whole process of what erythrocytes, we need first of all, as I've said, we need vitamin B6. We have what vitamin B12, as well as what folic acid or folate. Folate for what purpose? Folate for making sure that we produce a sufficient amount of what of dna we produce a sufficient amount of dna not only for that we need also iron we need what we need also what iron because iron is very important to be fixed at the eye which one hind is actually what attack at the central part of a polypeptide at the central part of each what polypeptide these are very crucial for killing oxygen therefore thank you for Listening, make sure that you subscribe our video. Thank you.